What is going on everybody? It is Aaron Cates and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be getting rid of the FCK light bars pods. You guys know how much I hated having to put them in the front of the truck, uh, but I spent $519 on them. I, it wasn't by choice. I was completely screwed out in that offer. FCK completely screwed me over. I'm not going to go on a whole rant about that if you guys kind of want to hear the little story behind it. Uh, or check out a couple videos ago of when I put these pods in the bumper, but I wasn't happy with them. I didn't want to put them in. I actually put electrical tape over top of the logo because I didn't want anyone to know that I had them. But I, I can't, I can't thank this company enough. This company has been the first, uh, like, really great company that's worked with me since I've started building trucks. Since I started doing this YouTube channel, um, they watched that video and they reached out to me and said, you know, we're friends with this company. We want to send you out some of this stuff and get, get you something that you can be happy with. So huge shout out to Move, the company that made this awesome bumper that everywhere I go, someone compliments. Everywhere I go, whether I'm getting gas, uh, if I'm at a just normal store walking out of the truck, uh, if I just pull up somewhere, everyone sees that bumper and they're automatically like, wow, that bumper is really nice. Uh, I, love what, uh, I love the color of the bumper and just, everyone's always talking about the bumper and move was nice enough to send me out some rebel lighting pods so they are in these packages right here let's get them opened up and let me show you guys these pods and i will have them linked down in the description below a link to the website that they are on and a link to the company's instagram page that way you guys can go follow them go check them out and hopefully get you guys a set as you guys can see we've got our warranty registration card so i'm going to fill this out for these pods but these are the rebel lighting pods and no they're not blue that's just a protective film that keeps them from getting scratched we're going to keep that on there until they're completely put in but i already tell you now these are a lot smaller than the fck ones and i don't know if you guys can hear that or not these are complete solid metal these have some weight to them uh, I really can't wait to see these at night tonight and see how bright they are. So let's get, get these taken out, get this styrofoam out of the way. I didn't even see this. I didn't take them completely out. So these have a plug-in style, so you can just completely unplug everything instead of having to cut wires if I ever have to take them out. So not only do you have the pods, but you have a whole wiring harness and everything. This is, this is fancy. Right here is what plugs into the back of the pods. So it plugs in just like so. Just get a little, get a little click and then pull it apart. Simple as that. Comes up, we have a switch. We've got an inline fuse. And then we've got a relay right here. This is the nicest set of pods I've ever owned. I've always, always bought everything off Amazon, eBay. I'm sure you guys did that. You guys know I do everything on a budget. The guys over at Move, Kevin, um, specifically over at move really hooked me up with this he reached out to me the day after i posted the video of me installing the fck light bars pods and he said look i saw your video i saw that you weren't happy with their pods i already had moisture in them everything like that he said we're partnered up with rebel uh, lighting which is these guys right here there we go rebel lighting is who move is partnered up with so i do have a coupon code for move uh, I believe you did $25 off orders over $495. It is Aaron Cates. Uh, so if you want to get these paired with your bumper, you guys can save some money with them. Now, not only do these get moisture inside of them, but these little uh, RGB halos that are in there, they're not true to color. The purple looks blue. Uh, the white is that like RGB kind of white. And there, there's not very many options because it's a little tiny remote that just comes with preset colors. Something that I found out about these pods, uh, I know I told you guys that I'm 99% sure that they came from Amazon. I think they're uh, Nico Nisiko, Nikoko, it's something like that. That's N-I-C-I-K-O, I believe. Um, but they are sold on Amazon and I was able to actually verify that that is the same ones that FCK uses. They are $150 for a set of four of them and same module, same remote, same everything as these pods. So all, all FCK is doing is buying them from that company and laser engraving their logo onto them. And then they're upcharging them over double the price of what they originally paid for them. So if you guys, <laughs> if 
you guys didn't believe me the first time I said that I got screwed over by FC, FCK light bars, I'll leave a link to these exact ones on Amazon in the description down below. Go click it and then go check out on FCK light bars website, see the price difference and they are the same exact pods. I I guarantee it, they're the same exact pods. I don't want to bad mouth anymore, I want to get these pods on. Uh, just like last time, I'm going to test and make sure that they work great, but I will be keeping these on the truck, so I am going to hide some wiring, do everything the right way, and get everything mounted the way we want it done, because this is going to be permanent. I'm not going to be getting rid of these guys, not unless something happens with one of them, uh, but they do have a warranty on them, so I'll get them warrantied out. So we're going we're gonna to do everything right this time. So we gotta get the old ones off, get these new ones on. Okay, I just turned them on in the daylight. They're on right now. Um, <laughs> in the daylight, you can tell how much brighter Rebel it is. I, I pray this camera picks it up. It, it should because they are, they're a completely different color temperature. They are a lot brighter. Okay, you guys know, I don't fake stuff. If a company sends me something to do a video on, it fits a piece of crap or if it doesn't work, I'm not gonna tell you guys that it does. I'm not gonna lie to you, say, go buy this, it works great, when it obviously doesn't work. I'm not that type of person. I test things, if they work great, if they're great products, they hold up well, I'm gonna recommend them to you. I'm not gonna try and sell you guys something just because this company was like, here, this is for free, do a video on it, or here, this is discounted, do a video on it. If you do a great video, we'll give you free products for life, or any bull crap like that, that's not how it works, but. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not going to be like, look, this company sent me this for free, so I'm going to tell you to go buy it because it makes me look good. No, I would I would rather give myself a bad reputation with a company and say that, yeah, your product didn't work, rather than be like, oh, yeah, your product worked great just to, just to make them look good. I'm not that type of person. I'm not going to do anything like that. So, I mean, it's obvious. I can tell on camera which one's brighter. This is the Rebel Pods right here. Look at the difference and how bright they are. It looks like the sun over here. They're completely different. These things are insanely bright. And this is daytime, guys. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. And look how much brighter they are. It's even, okay. Even if you get on the more dominant side, these are still brighter. And it's ridiculous. They're, they're significantly brighter. And what's funny is there's less LEDs in these than there is in these. Imagine if these had six, these right here, and because these have, these have six, so imagine if they were the same, how much brighter, I mean they're already brighter, just imagine how much brighter they would be then. So now instead of continuing to ramble on, like I've been doing a lot of this video, throw up a time lapse, we're going to get everything bolted in, uh, all the wires tucked and everything, get the old FCK bullcrap out of here, and get it all tidied up. Then we'll be ready for some nighttime shots tonight. product for the switches right here. I chose right here because I wanted somewhere that wasn't really noticeable. You guys know I already have my switch panel right here. We have rock lights, headlights, wheel lights. I already have that, but I don't have any more room to do up here. And I would like to wire these into the factory fog light just so I can turn it on and off. But then I got to thinking, what if I'm ever working on the Ford at night or something and I need some external lighting I don't want to, have to turn my key on 
turn my headlights on, run my battery dead any faster. So we have them mounted up here. They are ridiculously bright. I mean, you can tell on camera how bright they are. I mean, you didn't even see it on my face and it's not even dark outside yet. It's about a 4.30, 4.45. So got all the wiring done the way I wanted it to be done. Everything's tucked up. We have to zip tie these two wires right here up. They have to go up and then tuck everything right here. We're connected straight to the battery, but I'm gonna hide everything back down in here. I ran everything through the firewall. Not like we did at FCK right here, because I told you guys I was only doing that temporarily. I don't like running wires right there. I wanted everything tucked up underneath. So we went through and drilled some holes right in here. Got that all figured out now. We're all set with that. Uh, I'm gonna clean everything up, get everything tidied up underneath the engine bay. Show you guys all this right here. Clean all this up, zip tie them up, and pick you guys up when it's dark outside. And we can get some nighttime shots of these against the woods because <laughs> they are bright. All right, it has officially made it to darkness outside. So now is a, a good chance to give you guys an end tab look at the pods. I already angled them. I did that completely off camera. Basically, you just turn the pods on, angle it whichever way you like the lights to be. I did it. I did a little bit outwards that way at night. Uh, I'm not going to run these normally down the road. They are way too bright to run down the road. Uh, they will blind other people. They are floodlights. What that means, the light floods over the road. A spot pattern is it hits one individual spot. Flood covers the entire area. It floods. So I got floodlights. So I angled them off to the side that way. Uh, on our drive back from Georgia, a lot of deer on the side of the road. I like to be able to see what's on the side of the road. So I angled them out to the side. My headlights will hit the center. Those lights can hit out to the side, cover a little bit of everything. I do plan on um, getting a new grill here soon. I plan on putting a light bar behind the grill. Give us a little bit more distance down the center. So uh, just letting you guys know how I angled them so you're not, not like, why is there no lights in the center? Uh, when you angle them, just turn them on sit down underneath and just turn it how you want it and tighten everything up after that. So to give you guys a real good experience, I'm gonna turn off all the lights inside the truck. I'm gonna show you what headlights looks like. That is strictly headlights. That is just my low beam. That hits the woods out in front of us. This is high beam. You guys can tell a little bit of a difference between high beam and low beam. And then now headlights. And now let's do left side. That's the left side pods. And that is the right side pods. They are just as bright, if not brighter, than my headlights. So, and then this is with headlights on. And this is with high beams on. That's high beams, the pods. I mean, you can see anything you wanna see with them. It's low beams in the pods, pods by themselves. Let's turn our headlights back on. What are the difference between headlights and pods and then just headlights? Does that show you how much of a difference there is with those pods? That is insane. I am, I am absolutely in love. Just look at this little stake right here, how you can barely see it with the headlights on. I'll just turn the left side on. Boom, lights it right up. Makes a massive difference. They're doing exactly what they were meant to do. So now this is the end of the video. We got our install, we got our nighttime shots. So we've made it into the video. If you made it this far, thank you very much. If you haven't already, drop a like on this video. Go down and hit that subscribe button. The lights from FCK Light Bars, they are from Amazon. So I will have an Amazon link to them down in the description. If for whatever reason you want those instead, you want the halos or whatever in them, you can go check them out. Just click that Amazon link in the description down below and it'll take you right to whatever lights they are. Uh, I'm 99% sure they're the same same exact ones. And if you guys would like to go check out Rebel Lighting, I'll leave a link down to those pods on their website and I will leave a link to their Instagram page on Instagram as well. Go check them out, show, show some love. They're affiliated through Move. So if you're buying a bumper from Move and you wanna get some pods, right there is what you need. Use code Aaron Cates at Move, $25 off anything over $4.95. 
which I mean, if you're buying a bumper, it's going to be probably over 495. So go ahead, use that code. And thank you for watching the video. Catch you guys in the next one. See ya.